This is the Eyewitness News at 10. One year ago today, a toddler in Homa was discovered dead in the trash. His mother and her boyfriend were later charged with his murder and now face the possibility of the death penalty. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Today, Ezekiel Harry's family came together to honor his short life and reflect on the questions that still haven't been answered. Here's Whitney Miller. Ezekiel Harry's grandmother, Cynthia Harry, says she wants answers. I mean, we know we can't bring him back, but I would like to know what happened. She is still in shock to know that her grandson is no longer here with them. They say today's balloon release was to bring them together um, as they get ready to face the trial ahead. We can find some type of triumph, and that is knowing that little Ezekiel is in a resting state of eternal rest. Through prayer and fellowship, friends and family of the toddler came out to honor his life, despite the tragic way he died. We got to have to start reliving it again. Reliving the nightmare of last July, when Harry's body was found in a trash can. According to the Terrebonne Parish coroner, the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Harry's mother, Maya Jones, and her live-in boyfriend, Jermaine Robinson, were charged in connection to the child's death. The family left wondering why the two-year-old. He was so friendly. He was friendly and happy, baby. Lawmakers passed Ezekiel's law. It aims to help abuse children by creating a new committee that will look for new ways to revamp policies for investigating reports of abuse and neglect. That's a major step to something that should have been in effect. But it, it's, you know, sometimes it takes tragedies like this to occur to hopefully that we can make a difference in the future. We love you, Ezekiel. In Thibodeau, Whitty Miller, Eyewitness News. That trial is set to begin this fall.